Hi friends, I hope wherever you are in the world you are happy and healthy. My name is Tammy and if you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. I truly appreciate you choosing to hang out with me today. So <laughs> I am right now just ruling out all the panning projects that I know I wanna participate in this year. And so I've already mentioned two in my previous videos. Um, this one is a new one to me also. Um, this one is called Same Pan uh, Last Year. This is round two of it. It was created by Unapologetically Shelly, and it was shared in the Pantastic Ladies um, thread on Facebook group, on Facebook. Anyways, so the idea, it's pretty, it, it is pretty open how often you want to update how often you wanna roll in things, how many things you wanna roll in. So because I am doing several other panning projects and this year to make sure I go through all of my um, eyeshadows palettes, I am doing it brand by brand by brand. Like today I just finished up with um, all of my Adept Cosmetics eyeshadow palettes. So tomorrow I'll start on B's. I think I'm starting with my Bella Beauty Bar. Maybe I have to look, but, or I might go all the way to my W's and kind of go back and forth. I'm not quite sure. I don't know if I'm going to go A, B, C, D, E, F, G like that, or from the front to the back, front, back, and meet in the middle. I might do that just so that way then I'm making sure I'm spreading the love. But what I am doing is using every palette in my collection. So for Adept, today is the eighth, and I do have eight eyeshadow palettes. So I used every single one of them. And that's gonna kind of help me so that, A, I'm using what I have, and kind of reacquainting myself with, oh, I really like this, or, ooh, I don't, I don't like this, I can declutter this. And it just kind of keeps keeps it going, Keep, keeps me like, so I'm not at the end of the year saying, oh, I didn't reach for this because I'm reaching for these certain ones all the time. I wanna make sure that I'm spreading the love and that I'm using what I have. And if it is something that doesn't serve me, then I can you know, share it with somebody else who maybe might get better use of it. That being said, so this same pan last year, the reason why I decided to do this because Obviously, I, I didn't use it last, you know, I didn't do this panning project last year. So the reason why I wanted to do this is I really like the idea of it, which is that um, all the like national or international holidays for the month are posted. And then there's like a prompt that kind of goes with it. There are other additional ones that do not have a prompt and you can kind of do with it what you will. So I have decided for my panning project is, because I do have so much that I want to do and I don't know how often I'm going to be updating. For this particular one, I have decided that I'm going to do two months at a time. So right now I'm going to share with you and I'm going to pick five to six products roughly each, you know, two months. So Right now, I'm going to introduce you to my January and my February. And so for those two months, I'm using those products anywhere within those two months. Then in March, I'll come back, tell you how I did with it, and then share my March and April. And then in June, I come back, share how I did with my March and April, and, and share my June and July. That's how I'm planning to participate in this panning project. Okay, so let me share with you, and I think I did share, it was created by Unapologi Unapologetically Shelly, and the thumbnail that is posted um, was created by Deb B from the Pantastic Ladies. I think it's Pantastic Ladies. I'll have to look to double check. I'm pretty sure. Let me just look. <laughs> I'm like, I'm pretty positive. You really don't want to hear me sing, though. Let's see if I go into my, yep, Pantastic Ladies Collabs. There we go. 
Okay, I thought so. I just want to make sure because it's not just ladies that wear makeup. So, um, all right. So my prompts for January and February, and I am giving myself the baseline that I want to use these at least five times or more. So it could be, you know, if it's a um, eyeshadow palette, it could be five different colors, five different look. I want to use it multiple times. And I'm saying at least five though, because I am going to be doing a lot of other panning stuff as well as cycling through all of my eyeshadow palettes. Now, if it is something that is not an eyeshadow palette, then I want to try to get some sort of pan um, and just kind of see how I do, like make a dent. Um, so that's kind of how I'm, I'm looking at it. All right, so the first one for January and February is on January 23rd is Pie Day. So I want to use my Pumpkin Spice um, eyeshadow palette from Too Faced. It still smells like pumpkin pie, pumpkin spice. So I want to use this at least five times. I really want to use this orange. That's so, so pretty. Like maybe do some sort of look with these right here. I tend to usually use these, as you can see, like they look a little bit more used. So I do want to dip my toes over here and do a look. So that is the first one. January 23rd is pie day. And I'm going to use my Too Faced pumpkin pie. That doesn't mean I'm just going to use it on that day, but I'm going to use it at least five times throughout January and February. Okay. The second one is February 2nd. It's Groundhog Day. And the prompt on this was a product that you keep repeat purchasing or are doomed to pan forever because it takes forever. For me, this is a repeat purchase. And I already have, this is also one of my products that I put in my 24 and 2024 um, panning projects. I already have a backup of this because I love it. It already has a little bit of a, it's kind of messy, but it has a nice size pan on one side and I'm almost hitting pan on this one too. So I definitely want to use this all up. I do have another. This is my Sigma Duo Color Correct in light to medium. This is my favorite um, color correct. So that is for Groundhog Day. Um, on February 10th is the Chinese New Year, and it is the year of the dragon. So I decided that I am going to use my brand new dragon palette from What's Up Beauty. I have not, I've only swatched this. I haven't even used this yet. So I am looking forward to playing in this, like, I'm so happy that What's Up Beauty did create a third palette. I have all three palettes. Um, those are the only three I know of. I don't think they've come up with any others, but I know that when I was sharing my collection last year sometime, I had shared my geodes and monsoon, and I was like, I really hope they come up with another palette. So I was really happy when they came out with this dragon one and love the colors but I also like it's raised and it's just packaging is beautiful so at least five times with this one I do keep it in the outer box because it's just so pretty in fact I keep all of my what's up beauty in their outside boxes certain brands I do that with and others I do not I'm not sure why all right, so then in February 14th is Valentine's Day. So the prompt was a red item, a pink item, heart-shaped items, or love-themed in any way that you can relate to the theme. So I chose my Natasha Denona um, Love Cheek Duo. So first of all, it has little tiny heart glitter, you know, falling through there. Packaging is so pretty. Second of all, it's, you know, packaging out here is like a reddish pink. Actually, it's more like a 
bright pink. Let's be fair. And then, I mean, even there's like little heart embossing. So this, I do not think this is, this is not on my 24 to 24, but so that is the cream blush. And then that is the highlighter in it. So I plan to use this at least five or more times during the next, you know, two, two months. And then the last item I chose um, was for Margarita Day, February 23rd. So I chose my Margarita palette from Glam Light. This is such a pretty, pretty, pretty palette. I'm just do not tend to be that colorful. So I want to make myself be that colorful and use this at least five times. Um, every time I go to declutter, I have put this in the declutter, taken it out because they're they are super pretty. I'm just like, oh, am I gonna wear them? Oh, but so I and then I take it out. So I have taken it out again because I have the whole collection of these drink palettes. And this is probably my least used of the four. The next one is the purple wine one. And so um, I want to force myself to use this because if I use it and I don't like the looks I come up with and I'm like, yeah, it's just really not me, I know and I can feel better about decluttering it in the future. It might be one that surprises me. I know that the um, Odin's Eye Planet Worlds from um, Batty Bean, I originally last year was like, oh, no, those are not my colors. But I love that palette now because I forced myself to use it. And once I used it, I was like, oh, I like that look that I came out with. So I'm hoping that that is the same here. And um, I will keep you updated. So I will be back in March to show you how I did with these. Maybe you might see a little pan in some of this. Most likely not. Um, just because it is so much product. And even this is, oops, even this, I mean, it's really, really thick quite a bit. I don't, I don't know. But Hopefully by then I could say, hey, this one's done. We'll see. All right. So until next time, um, stay blessed and stay beautiful. I really appreciate you uh, hanging out with me. Bye.